Hello everyone, welcome to this interview. I'm Dr. Sandeep Sharma, Prep Ladder Super Speciality Pediatric Faculty, and the INI Super Speciality Results are out. In the INI Super Speciality Results, we have the topper with us. We have rank one in pediatric nephrology, Dr. Deeptika Sadasivan with us. And it's our privilege to invite us to invite her to this interview. Thank Congratulations, you. Dr. Deeptika. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, before we start with the interview, uh, please tell about your background. Okay, sir. So, I'm uh, basically from Tamil Nadu. So, I did from my MBBS from Madras Medical College and my MD Pediatrics from PGMR Chandigarh. So, after my MD Pediatrics, I uh, took a short break and uh, I gave my uh, INSS and I uh, got selected uh, in this. Great. And uh, was it your first attempt or you have given the exam to be seen? Uh, so this is my uh, third attempt, but actually this is my first serious attempt. The other two attempts I uh, just gave it by uh, reading for my theory exams. Okay, and uh, just a personal question: Has the rank one sensation, the uh, that feel, sunk in already, or is it yet to sunk in? So actually, I can't believe it uh, even now. Like I, I am, I have my like uh, web open with that AML rank list, and I'm looking every one hour. Is it really me? So, the job is done and I think it can't get better than this. So, uh, first of all, tell me how did your interest in pediatric nephrology come to you? Uh, yes, sir. So, uh, like I did my MD from PJMR and there like we get posted in different super specialty departments and on general departments. So, initially my uh, thesis was in critical care department and I used to spend a lot of time in PICU. So, I found that like I was more interested in uh, uh, like peritoneal dialysis, like hemodialysis and everything. Uh, and uh, like when I got posted in nephrology and I started to see, uh, see those chronic cases like chronic kidney diseases and everything, I got interest in nephrology. So, and I came to know that, okay, this is going to, my going to be my branch in future. I see. I, I'm also from PGI, and it's been a long time, but I still remember that uh, in, in my very second month, I was made to do a peritoneal dialysis on the bedside. It was not a very pleasant sensation at that time, but later you realize that the kind of exposure you get does play its role. And yes, pediatric nephrology department is really good at PGI. Yes, uh, yes, sir, for sure. Yes, so great, great, great that you are going to go. Uh, and I hope you are going to do great in the department. But in this success journey, uh, how did prep ladder help you? Yes, sir. So, like my preparation for uh, nephrology initially it started from Nelson, and then I read uh, uh, like Bagasa's textbook. Uh, so during that time, I also like uh, started seeing the prep ladder videos. Like I think I was in fifth semester, and uh, uh, both nephrology and general pediatrics were uh, very good. And especially uh, when we talk about the uh, competitive exams, I think uh, the there is two parts. One is general pediatrics and then the super specialty part. For super specialty part, we definitely have to put some extra effort to learn some uh, like uh, both basic things and uh, some like uh, about that. But for general pediatrics, I think uh, Preplada has really played a great role because I, was, I found that I was always weak in general pediatrics when I gave all the three attempts. So, uh, prep ladder with all its videos, it was so precise so that I don't want to go back to any other source to uh, look for general pediatrics and I could concentrate more in nephrology because of that. Okay. See, basically, I personally believe that when you're targeting an INISS-like exam, mm -hmm. uh, many people target the speciality part, which is right. But speciality part has two problems. If it comes easy, everyone will score there. And yes. if it comes too tough, Sometimes it is so tough that nobody can score it. Like there will be so obscure things. So the difference actually lies in the general pediatrics part. The same old milestones, the same old neurological diseases, the same old you know nutrition part. Those one 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 question do create a difference. And I think Diptika has really addressed that. So Diptika, uh, how was this exam different from the previous exam? Even if you were not serious, you were given the exam. How did you find this exam different compared to the older INISs? Yes, sir. So coming to uh, the nephrology part, all the three nephrology exams, if we had uh, like prepared well, we could attend at least like uh, uh, 45 to 48 questions. Uh, but in general pediatrics, for the even for the first exam, while I was reading for my theory exams, I thought, I felt that like 
uh, MCQ point of view is something different from theory point of view. So then I started preparing from MCQ point of view from prep ladder and uh, compared to the all three exams, this exam general pediatrics was very tough. So I think that like prep ladder has helped me uh, in that part to uh, get a good rank. Uh, so obviously, like uh, as I had mentioned, the uh, latest reviews from Nelson 22nd edition, we also got a question from that. So I would not have answered that if I had not seen that video, especially in the last yes. minute during uh, of preparation. Yes. See, uh, uh, it was it was uh, a calculated call that we took. That Nelson twenty second edition. One we was doing the entire videos again, and second was to take out the snippets which we feel are important and relatively going to be asked more importantly for the exam. And I think, uh, as if I am correct, and based upon your and feedback and what others uh, rankers have also given that there were quite a few number of questions which were from Nelson 22nd edition. Yes, yes, sir. So, reading the test is very, very important. So, Diptika, uh, what after this? What after this? No more exams. So, you are going to join. There will be time. There will be time. But uh, obviously, uh, this, you have you given the uh, need SS exam, by the way? No, sir. Like, uh, after I completed my MD, like, need SS has not been uh, conducted yet. So I do not get an opportunity to give me this. So you cannot compare the exam, but you don't need to do that also. Yeah. You are done with the, probably this is the last exam. <laughs> yes, sir. This should be my last, I hope. Uh, after that, you should retire. Like you win a body job, then you retire after that. So it's the same for you. Final super speciality, rank one, job done, finish it off. And be a good pediatric nephrologist, which I'm sure you're going to do. Surely, sir. Surely. So uh, Diptika, any uh, other things you would suggest to the students who will be targeting in the, uh, like there are a lot of people who will mm. be preparing right now, listening to you right now, who will be targeting maybe six months from now, one year from now, people who are entering into residency right now, what advice would you give to them? How yes. should one, someone pace their preparation? So for people who are entering pediatrics now, so they should actively attend the uh, like ward rounds and everything because patients are the best people who can teach us a lot. And we have to be clear in what we want. So uh, like I have seen like people changing the courses like exam after exam. So like personally, what I think is like if we stick to one course, uh, it would be better for us to perform in the other exams too. And uh, the uh, next thing is like uh, like when we are preparing for the theory exams, like in fourth semester, fifth semester, sixth semester, like uh, if we are like uh, like particular about one course, we have to start reading that from MCQ point of view also. Uh, and uh, what, whenever we see a case in, a, in the ward, we have to come back and read about it so that it stays forever and we don't want to go back again and read about it. So I think the main advantage I had was this, like, I did not uh, read like Nelson fully and everything, but whenever I saw a case in the ward, I used to come back and read uh, Nelson and all the updates about it. And uh, for that, the Institute has helped me a lot, both the academics and everything, like PGI has given me a lot. Uh, and uh, also like after like your MD, if you start preparing, I think you have to prepare uh, uh, like uh, seriously, like the precise things you want to know. We don't want to like learn everything, uh, like in from super specialty point of view, obviously you will uh, go, uh, you want to go a step more, but in, uh, in the point of general pediatrics, you should be precise. Don't waste much time in learning everything uh, in general pediatrics, but we should also remember that that plays an important role. Yes. Great. Great. Very, very nice uh, you know, advice given to all the people. And uh, I also agree that PGI uh, does make a difference. Your parent institution does make a difference. Even if you leave PGI, PGI never leaves you. And uh, in your yes. case, you're not going to leave PGI. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yes. I have to decide yet, sir. So, Diptika, uh, another thing. Like, uh, would you recommend prep ladder to your juniors who are going to target super speciality? Yes, I would definitely recommend them. Uh, like, they should uh, keep Nelson as their primary source for theory preparation. But sometimes we don't find time to read everything. So that time prep ladder comes in handy. And even if uh, if we read Nelson, like, uh, we don't get all the important points uh, if we are not seeing the case practically. So when you, like, um, uh, give some important points and stress on those points, that stays in our memory forever. Uh, and it also helps in future. Like, when you stress about something, it stays with us. 
so uh, with that point of view both for uh, during the prepare uh, like during a md pediatrics and both during preparation i would suggest a uh, preplader okay. uh, one more thing there is a, always a controversy like you will find that when you are preparing for nephrology particularly mm -hmm. the guidelines will be different often different in yeah. nelson compared to the indian indian society of pediatric nephrology bagasar's book says something nelson yeah. says something how did you reconcile those things and what was your strategy Yes, sir. so while doing my uh, doing my MD, I actually read Nelson. But then, uh, like after reading Bagasa's book and ISPN guidelines, I thought that uh, those which have been designed for uh, our country, I think we have to give uh, preference to that. And also, like ISPN had taken some uh, lectures, like uh, faculty from all over the country, like they used to uh, address some of the topics. So those lectures were uh, very useful for me in preparing nephrology. I really want to thank uh, those. Faculty also like uh, to uh, uh, they made us understand the importance of some topics in nephrology. And uh, uh, this success would never be possible without the contribution of many people in your life, personal and professional. Who do who are the people you want to dedicate this? Any shout outs? Yes, sir, for sure, sir. First, I want to thank the Almighty and my parents, without whom I would not be here. Then, uh, like, I was so skeptical about giving this exam because I just got married a month back. So I did not have much time in preparing. I barely had uh, just a month uh, gap between my marriage and uh, my uh, exam. So my husband and his family, like, they were like, uh, so strong that I want to uh, I have to give this exam and uh, it is because of my husband Dr. Mehri he's my best friend and uh, I would like to dedicate to him because he was the one who was standing with me throughout my preparation right from uh, like MD where he was the one who told I want to do DM I was okay with even a fellowship but he was the one who stressed that I want to do uh, a DM so that uh, I can go great heights so I want to dedicate mm -hmm. First of all, congratulations on that aspect also. And uh, secondly, yes, family members do play a role. In fact, uh, we should change uh, the things a bit in the new world now. Uh, behind every successful man, there is a woman. And now behind every successful woman, there is a man. So your husband yeah, is a lucky charm. Absolutely. Congratulations to him also. And uh, lovely, lovely hearing from you, Deutika. I, I do hope that you are going to do excellent in life. And you're going to be one of the top most pediatric nephrologists in the country. And maybe the next version when I'm reading, or maybe two versions after this, when I'm reading for a new version of SS, I use your review articles and tell everyone uh, once upon a time she used to be my student. So I would great, like great, to. Great. <laughs> great, great learning from you. Thank uh, you. Thank so you. So this is a two way learning. Congratulations once again to your family, to you. And Thank I you so much. You do excellent in life. So on Thank behalf of the entire team, congratulations once. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.